Well, I think there's an indication that uh, the left uh, voters and the Arab voters supported by foreign money are coming in much greater proportions. So we have to make sure that we come out, we, the national scam voters, come out in greater proportions. And we have to vote Mahad because that gap between Likud and Labor, if it widens, then in the absence of 61 Knesset members to recommend me, and we don't have such a number, that means that the decision might fall on the gap, by the gap between the two large parties. We have to close the gap. We have to vote Vachal. And if I'm elected, I'll form a nationalist government. I'll form a national camp government. There, there can't be a unity government with labor. Now, I hear this, uh, uh, this claim, it's just meant to reduce the number of votes for the Likud, and that further widens the gap. No one, I, I think, today in the national camp has the privilege of voting for, uh, not voting for the Likud. Because uh, if we form the government, all the other parties will be there. Uh, uh, Bait Yudi, the Jewish National Home, they'll be in our coalition. If they get one or two mandates up or down, it doesn't make a difference. They'll be a senior partner in my government, in my next government. But if the Likud loses one or two mandates, then this could decide the fate of who will be the next Prime Minister of Israel.